Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you how to configure your network so your WISE thin clients can automatically find and discover your WISE management suite server. That way you can just turn them on and they'll automatically find the server. So here the screenshot of the central configuration shows the values that are needed for a thin OS device. So in some of the previous videos I showed you you can actually manually type in the group registration key, you can specify the WMS server, and you can turn on or turn off the CA validation. So you can see here the three option tags that I'm going to use. I'm going to set a 199 option tag for the group key, 165 for the server, and I'm going to turn off validation or clear that checkbox with the 167. We could also use DNS SRV records. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but this is the screenshots of the records that you would need to change to do this. Again, it's one or the other. So here's my thin client. This is where it was from the last uh, video. You can see that it's right now it's got a central configuration server that I went ahead and it got those values by me actually typing them in. So if I go to the device and I reset it, I do a restart and reset to factory defaults, it'll no longer have that information about where the WISE management suite server is. So let's go ahead and let it reboot and just confirm that. And at this point, it'll come up and because it doesn't find a server, it enters the setup wizard and we're just going to exit out and go back into central configuration and now we can verify under the WDA tab that WMS is not enabled. There's no group key and there's certainly no WMS server specified at this point. Uh, looking at the WMS console, you can see the device was checked in so I'm going to go ahead and unregister it and force delete it. So now I've got a WMS console with no devices that are communicating with it, no devices registered, and I've got a thin client that has no information about where the WMS server is. So the next thing I need to do is actually create the custom DHCP option tags that I talked about. So on my DHCP server, I'm going to actually just go to the uh, scope that I'm working with and I'm going to under IPv4 right click and go to set predefined options and then add the values I need. The first value I'm going to use is my WMS, WMS server and the type is going to be string so make sure that it's string for all three of these that's very important. Uh, we'll change it to string and this one will actually be a code of 165. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in in there. And again this is only needed if my WMS server is on-prem and I'm changing it from the default. So my server in this case is an on-prem WMS server so I will go ahead and put the string here which is https colon slash slash demo 2 dash WMS dot BP BP lab dot local colon 443. And again it's always recommended to put the uh, default port the 443 uh, but it's not necessary. Um, the next value I'm going to add is my CA validation. Um, by default, they're going to look for a CA server, and since I set this up uh, not using SSL certificates, I need to make sure that I turn that off on my thin client. So I'll go ahead and type WMS CA validation, and again, I'll go ahead and copy that. I like to copy and paste whenever I can, and I will paste that in the description and make sure that I set the type to string and again this is a value 167 so I've set 165 for the WMS server type string 167 type string for the validation and the CA validation is just going to be false. Um, also to be clear I'm just creating these custom DHCP options I'm gonna have to go in later and actually turn them on. So the last one I'm gonna create is my WMS group or the group key and what I'm going to do, I'd like my device to show up in my corp root. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to type string. And again, this is code 199, the description of uh, WMS key. And because I want it to show up by default, I'm going to put in DEFA dash corp root. And that was the group key specified in WM, WMS. Um, and I've got that. Now let me go into my scope options and right click and configure options and now the three that I just created I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. I could change the values but uh, the default values are actually what I want so I'll turn those on and you can see uh, now along with uh, router 
uh, DNS and domain information. I'm also getting the WMS server, the validation value, and the group key are going to be passed to any device that asks for a DHCP address on this network. So now um, I'm looking at my device and I will go ahead and reset it to defaults. And it should communicate with my DHCP server and get an IP address and then get the extra information that it needs to start communication with my WMS server. Okay, uh, it has rebooted, it's communicating, it's actually getting some settings pushed down to it. It pointed out that it needs to reboot to finish applying the settings. You can see the custom background, so my corp root policy actually had a custom wallpaper that, that was that blue and it said corp root in the bottom right. It also set the visual experience to the VDI mode with the um, start menu on the left and you can see that that's configured here. So now I'm in the corp group group. If I look under settings under uh, central configuration, now I can see my DHCP server has turned on my WMS. It specified the group key and put the WMS server turn and turn the CA validation to false. Uh, if I go back to my WMS server and I just refresh my device's view, I can see now I have a device checked in and communicating um, and it's in the corp root group. So it, it's just that easy. Any new devices will come in. Here is the screenshot of the SRV records if you want to look at that and this is the screenshot of the option tags. You may also note uh, there was an MQQT server in some of the previous videos that I did. Um, in the later versions of ThinOS um, that will still work but it's not necessary. Uh, because we know that in pretty much all cases the MQQT server will also be the same as the WMS server. So specifying the WMS server is uh, adequate. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.